Greetings YouTubers, this is JokerJays25. Today we're going to do a repair on uh, my Toshiba laptop. You may have seen me do a review on this laptop before, which I actually um, love this computer. Uh, but recently it took quite a tumble, and as you can see from the LCD screen, it is shattered. And we have this nice little bleed through here. Um, and I need to get it repaired. I was going to have this taken out and done at a, like a computer repair, but the price is ridiculous. So uh, I did some shopping around and looked, and I found out this is actually a repair that even somebody like me that's just basically a lay person, it can do this. And I thought it would be really good to throw a review up real quick so other people that might be in this situation can save themselves hundreds of dollars by just getting the part and doing it themselves and I want to show you that it's really not that difficult uh, this Toshiba laptop of course it's it's the larger screen it's a, over a 17 inch uh, screen I did go ahead and find out the model number and I'll show you that later in the, the review where you can find that model number so you can make sure that you get the exact part you need and you also need to know if it connects on the left or the right bottom hand side for uh, your connection because there's a 40 pin connector that plugs the screen in and uh, we'll get to that and basically the only tools you'll need is a little Phillips screwdriver maybe an exacto knife and uh, that's about it I've laid out a towel so no little screws will run away and I even have a little plastic lid from I think like a sour cream container that we're gonna put the screws in so let's go ahead and get started and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to power the computer off. Of course, I don't have it plugged in right now. And we are going to go ahead and take out the battery. So there is absolutely no power sources whatsoever going on. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show too because, like I said, I'm just a regular guy. I'm not a computer geek and I'm not um, no tech savvy guy. I'm going to start a little stopwatch here. And basically we can figure out about how long it takes now the first thing that we're going to do is we need to go ahead and remove the screen and to do that you'll see these little tiny round discs on the Toshiba satellite and what these are are basically little plastic stickers but they cover up the screw heads and there's four of these and that one went flying and there's there we go and then also because uh, we have these little rubber stoppers that basically protect uh, the top of the laptop screen when you close it uh, these are a little harder to take off than the other parts they're just like little rubber bumpers but those also uh, are over screw heads so we go ahead and take those off as well and these bottom screws are the hardest ones to get to because it's at such an angle Okay, all the screws are loose, and basically now we got to remove the bezel from the screen. And to do that, 
if you just reach up and pry one side and get it started. Now this is a little different than some of the other replacement screen videos I've seen because uh, this um, laptop has the webcam in it. So you have to be a little more careful when you get to the center part here. And the way that the Chiba is set up, down at the bottom here, the little hinges are actually over it. So if you just put your finger behind each hinge and push forward, you can actually go ahead and remove the whole bezel. And now we're to the screen. To get the screen out, there are anchor screws that are on each side of this basically aluminum frame. So all we're going to do is we're going to take these screws out one at a time. And again, these screws are a little different than the ones that we've taken out for the bezel. They're shorter and smaller, so you want to keep those separated. You don't want to get those confused. You can see how those are a little bit longer than the ones that are actually going to hold the, the screen in. And you want to get the cor correct part number because it's not just the size which is the the width and the height of the screen you also got to think about uh, the depth um, that your screen will need plus the pin set and where the pin set is located Okay, this is uh, where it's a little different from some of the other ones you've seen. Uh, if you've seen any of the videos of like replacement screens. You, because you have this long wire going up that is going directly to your webcam. Your screen itself, you'll see there's your pin connector, which all you have to do is basically remove that tape. And I'm going to show you real quick. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Let's see. Have like a tape over it. Let's see. Yeah, it's just tape. I can undo that. Basically, I'm just undoing it from the back and pulling down, and it just unplugs. And now, basically, the screen's free. Now, if you're needing a replacement screen, not saying that this is the, the model that you need, you'll find it right here. It will have the, the model number, and that's exactly what I ordered. And you also need to know where your screen connects. This one has where it connects in the bottom left. Some of them are bottom right. If you happen to get the wrong one, you can buy an arc that will let you plug it in from either side, but you're spending like an extra $15 for that part, where if you just order the right part to begin with, you can get it where it'll fit. And again, I paid, I think, like $60 for a replacement screen, which is a heck of a lot cheaper than having somebody do this for me or, or what have you, because I think they were going to charge me close to $125 for the part plus over a hundred dollars just to look at it so to get it fixed was going to end up being like 250 plus now i've got my replacement screen here and uh ordered it from all places amazon 
Uh, I found a reputable seller that had the exact part number that I needed and uh, also included free shipping and it came triple box so it came in excellent condition nothing to worry about and again there's my connector just like I'll need for this and there is a protective film on the front of the screen but just for a little extra protection I'll lay this bubble wrap down so we're going to lay this down. We'll pull this over. Basically, you're sliding that in. I'm going to take the tape that was there from the other one, stick that over, and basically now it's just tightening up screws. So, I mean, again, this is something that anybody could do. I'm going to lift this into place. And I'm going to do every other side to start with so I can get this in here right. And these are the little screws again. And at this point, we haven't put the bezel back on yet, but um, we could actually test it to make sure that the, the plug is working, that I, I connected it right, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put in the battery. And I'm just gonna power it on real quick to make sure that my connections are correct. So there's, if I have to change anything, I don't have to go all the way back. And uh, not bad for a $60 fix instead of a $250 to $270 fix. And what we can do now... I'm going to go ahead and undo this masking tape. Take off that film. Go ahead and start putting back on my bezel. then it's just putting our screws back in.
and that's it. And it took me all of 18 minutes and 50 seconds. And that was with me talking and saying step by step what I'm doing. So less than 20 minutes, new computer screen, and we are uh, as good as new. Thank you for watching. Be sure to comment if you have any questions. If it's something I can help you with and you're trying to do this repair yourself, I'll be happy to talk to you. All right. Thank you and have a great day.